Welcome back guys to Financier Pro YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment below. I had to make another video today because I've been telling people for years this finally came along. These robots will be flipping burgers with a large food chain, White Castle. White Castle is implementing robot burger flippers. I kept telling people on Facebook this was going to happen years ago. People laughed at me. They wanted to fight different things on Facebook, social media. They didn't believe me. This is going to replace a lot of you burger flippers. Let's get into it. And this is coming from major headlines. I could not really, this, this really threw me off. I had to make another video on this because we're going to talk about things like this. Uh, let's see. White Castle plans to usher robots into, into the kitchen. And they I was wondering why they were advertising a couple weeks ago. They probably still are to invest in this company. And I was, I was thinking about investing in it. But, you know, things like that, your money is never guaranteed. So, let's see. The Burger Chain announced a partnership with the artificial intelligence firm MISO Robotics on Tuesday. I'm not sure if that's the same company that's advertising on Facebook, but I will investigate this. So, White Castle will deploy Flippy, a hamburger flipping robot, later this year. Now, imagine that. You're up there... Um, teaching this robot different skills as far as the schematics and things like that knowing that this robot is going to replace you one day and I'm pretty sure they got somebody in there that's overseeing the robot things like that uh, for right now the deploy the idea is to, to reduce human contact with food during the cooking process and comes after many restaurants were crippled during the pandemic now on my last video I said they were going to do this with automation and replacing people with these low paying jobs first. Now, let's see. This will this was due because of the COVID-19. I'm telling you, this COVID-19 has has um I don't know the word to for it, but it has motivated the CEOs to get these robots out and replace humans. So the deployment will put autonomous frying to work for enhanced production speeds, improved labor allocation, and an added layer of health and safety for the cooking process. Oh, really? <laughs> this is so funny to me because I, I kept saying this was going to happen. And people didn't believe me, man. You got to plan now because... The commercial drones are coming as well, delivery drones. The commercial robots, delivery robots are coming as well. Man, you guys and you Uber and Lyft drivers that do it full time, plan now because they will have self-driving cars one day. And in about 10 to 15 years, every car will have to be electric as well. So that's going to put a lot of people out of business. I'm telling you what's coming, guys. Please comment below. This is not a conspiracy. We're talking about business, personal uh, finance credit. We're talking about how to innovate ourselves into the next level financially. So the restaurant didn't address how many workers could be displaced by robots, though it did say that team members can re be redeployed to more customer experience-driven tasks get up out of here so you want to have one person at the window that's what you're saying <laughs> somebody said they feel threatened uh, well you should be this your job is going away white castle has 365 restaurants nationwide and i'm going to put the article link if you guys want to read up on that in the video below uh, i don't want any copyright infringement anything like that if i take something away i want to always put it below so you guys can read on it and things like that but this is this is amazing because I knew one day this was going to happen I just knew that and what you guys think about this and you guys that work at White Castle and other burger food chains if this really works and takes off it's going to be a domino effect trust and believe that wow wow so in 2018 the robot arm turned over chicken tenders 
and tater tots at Dodger Stadium and flip burgers at Caliburger in Los Angeles. I did not know that. The robot was pulled from Caliburger temporarily after lunching because it was too slow. But I'm pretty sure they improved on that. See you guys next time on Financier Pro, man. Wow.